Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. So in today's video, we are going to create React Redux shopping cart and this is the demo of our application. Uh, so this video was, uh, I created very long back uh, and at that point I was using React Bootstrap. Uh, for some reason I don't like Bootstrap anymore. Uh, so basically uh, we are going to create this application uh, completely from scratch, even the CSS. Uh, for CSS, I'm going to use Tachyon CSS and uh, for my code editor, I'm going to use uh, Stagblitz, which is in Visual Studio Code, but inside your browser. And uh, to understand the series, you have to have a basic understanding of React, but again, that would be an advantage for you, uh, but it's not a, a compulsory requirement. Uh, at the end of this series, you'll have a complete understanding of React as well as Redux. And trust me, Redux is really simple. So let's get started. I'm just going to create our React application and scaffold it using Staglets. Close the preview. And I'm quickly going to rename this. Alright, so we have 01 React Redux shopping cart. Remove this hello component. And if you look at the hello component, so hello component is just a simple stateless react component and at the production uh, you should always heavily create your components whenever possible as stateless and uh, also at the end of the series once we have implemented redux i'll also show you how you can use recompose to compose your um, functional uh, components using recompose library uh, i'm just going to delete this uh, we're going to create a new folder called components and when we introduce Redux, I'll also explain you the concept of uh, dumb components and smart components. So at this point, uh, if you have to understand about dumb components, so we are currently creating dumb components. So let's just create our first component. I'm going to call it as product.js. And as well, uh, so we have to load this uh, Tachyon CSS. Uh, simply, I'm just going to go to the home page of Tachyons. And let's just load this from the CSS. Just going to copy it. Uh, for the simplicity, uh, I know. Uh, I should be creating a new style sheet, but I'm just going to paste it at the top of style.css. If you are working locally, you can just simply create a techions.css new file and import it over here. All right. So moving ahead, if I have to add a new style for product, I'll just create a new style sheet file over here. Okay. Uh, but since we are not heavily uh, going to work on CSS, uh, so we'll just use tachyons. So this is our product. We'll just copy this. We'll just modify it afterwards. So product is going to be our stateless component at the moment. So I'll just call it as product equals to an arrow function, which is an anonymous function. We have to return a JSX. Alright, perfect. We just indent it a bit. And let's see why it is crying. Okay, we are missing <laughs> closing, self closing. Okay, we have to also import React. So quickly going to copy it and paste it over here. We don't need components. Alright, so let's just quickly as well export this and use it inside our project and use it over here. Uh, just for the uh, testing purpose, I'm just quickly going to add it over here like this. And let's see if it's working fine or not. Alright, so everything's looking good. Uh, except for this image. Uh, so, of course, inside an HTTPS, you cannot load HTTP. 
and refresh yeah perfect it works so as you can see if i do a single change and just save the file i don't even have to reload my browser over here which is really cool okay so we have our product ready and uh, let's just go to index.js uh, let's see what else we need so we are going to need an add button so which is simply going to uh, let us add this product so this is going to be a simple add button uh, for now i'm just going to add it over here as a button later on we'll refactor this of course call it as add so this is basically it will add to the cart perfect we can even style this button uh, quickly go to tachyons go to components and you can see a section called buttons and let's just add your favorite buttons so i'm just going to do basic rounded buttons uh, i'll just pick this green button and just copy this and add this class names over here so remember you cannot add class inside react so you have to have a class name okay so let's just quickly update these things as well so quickly going to rename this to this class to class name because class is a global keyword reserved for our es6 class okay and save this and reload okay you don't even have to reload so we have this add button over here we have this border na nasty border over here let's just quickly say that we don't want border so let's say bn bn stands for border none and uh, link okay perfect so this is working fine and if you click on it nothing will happen so what i need to do now is we need to have multiple products uh, so of course our we should have a wrapper around over here let's see in tachyons if we have any wrapper based uh, components which we of course have and let's see okay this is fine just going to copy this last name As well for our simplicity, I'm just going to rename this dev to main. So main is uh, HTML5 dev, which is just an alias for a dev, which makes your code more semantic and readable. Uh, sorry. Okay, perfect. Inside this root, we have this main. Perfect. Now we need to have multiple products. Quickly going to remove this last guy, and we have three products now okay but they are not next to each other so let's see how we can make them next to each other okay so to make them next to each other uh, we simply have to use uh, tachyon's layouts so inside layout you can see there is something called flex layout and i'm just going to use that so for now um, we can even go with flex or flex wrap i think i'll go with flex wrap which makes more sense if we add more products more than three and just paste it and i think we are good to go we already have a minimum width over here this is basically max width five and if you go over here and it works so let's just quickly add more product so to just to see if it is handling our more products or not save this perfect it works and let's just add a few more products all right this is looking really good we have almost eight products over here okay for simplicity i'm going to keep only one product over here now uh, we have our basic layout ready now so i'm going to have a global constant over here uh, which is going to be products is equal to an array of objects yes so each of this is going to be a single product so let's see what all things we need so of course definitely our product has to have an image uh, this image can be different based on your product 
So inside our index.js, I'm going to have an ID over here, which is one. Each word has to have a unique ID since we are not connecting to any database, which is which will help us loading products, which we can do in future, of course. So ID, and then we have a product name. So we'll just call this as name is going to be um, Apple and uh, description Should is something just copy it this is img all right and the price of course we have to have a price i'm going to say price of apples is 100 usd uh, it's a hypothetical price all right so let's just add few more products okay as you can see i just went ahead and created five products inside our products array these are simply plain objects i'm just going to collapse them and uh, basically uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to simply map the products to our product so let's see this in action so we have multiple products over here so products dot map all right so we get one single product and we have to map it to our product so key is going to be uh, the key that is the p dot id and rest of the things i'm just going to spread them and we are going to utilize the keys inside our product which is so first of all we have a product dot id uh, and we have a product dot img okay so simply i'm just going to give it an id over here is equal to so we receive a product over here and we receive id we receive name what else we receive we receive all these things i'm just going to paste them all right i'm just going to remove this perfect so these are our props so id is id then we have src image so this is our img then this title is uh, simply going to be uh, the name again this is going to be a name copy paste this description and the add button so of course uh, we have to display price over here so for now i'm just going to keep it as a span tag and save this and let's see this in action perfect looks good so that's it from this video in the next video we'll go further and work on our project uh, meanwhile please it would be really great if you like and subscribe to my channel it will motivate me to keep on adding such videos for you thanks for watching